Hello, my name is Motori Felix. Um, uh, I live in Meru County, but uh, currently a student at Masai Maru University. And in my understanding, I think that abortion it is a selfish and an ignorant and an illegal act of taking the life of an innocent human being without the consent of the victim. And it's like a disastrous change of mind from a decision already made to carry a baby, then it comes again later that I don't want this baby. So, um, to my opinion, I don't think abortion is good. I'll never be in support of abortion because I don't want to think of it like I was aborted or you were aborted. I need you and I know you need me. So, uh, it's kind of uh, judging someone whom we haven't even seen yet or heard them speak, which uh, is not good at all to not just the victim, but all of us. When it comes to who is it that uh, should decide on um, the fate of the fetus, I don't think the mother has the sole responsibility of uh, deciding that. When a baby is born, she doesn't just belong. He or she doesn't just belong to the mother, the father. The baby belongs to the society. The baby is for the government. The baby is someone important to the planet, actually. Every sector may be very well dependent on such a baby. So the fate of the fetus should just be decided by the mother. And if at all it is about the mother, then it is the body of the mother carrying another body. And it is the responsibility of the mother's body to protect this baby and not to kill. To protect and ensure that the baby is safe. So why should the mother be the one wanting to take the, the killing uh, decision? And our mothers are not killers. I'm sure if at all they want to kill, then they will be influenced. So what uh, this bill wants to talk about is about encouraging our mothers to kill. And I will not stand in support of this one because I know our mothers are not killers. I know mothers are made of love. And mothers have never been there for uh, in support of such a case. Whatever that has been uh, said here, it's just weak and very shallow, in my opinion. Because when it comes to matters um, concerning life, then a lot must be involved. We need to see yes, who, who are these uh, professional medical officers that are being uh, that we are tr entrusting with the decisions that, that they are making about life. What I know about doctors and uh, medical officers is that it is the responsibility to protect life, actually, and not to deny someone uh, an opportunity to live, especially someone who hasn't gotten that opportunity to have the taste of life. Um, I also want to uh, challenge us. Are we of the opinion that um, this country doesn't have a chance for the disabled people? Yes, if at all a baby may be mentally challenged or physically challenged, but don't we have the capacity to accommodate them? Can't we do something to protect them? So let's be the kind of people that God created us to be. People filled with humanity, human beings, ready to support everybody in their own uh, uh, composition, in whichever way they were meant, we should accommodate them and not get rid of them from our faces. Because I'm sure this is what the bill, this bill is talking about. Yes, the babies, whatever is, uh, is, is, is a threat, this baby will be born like this, he or she won't survive. Who are you to tell us like that? So I want to say that um, that is not a good thing. And um, we have the capacity, we have the capability to accommodate the disabled. Doctors are there to save lives. And um, we also need to look at the, uh, the consequences that are attached to cases of abortion. After a woman aborts, what happens to them? the negative side effects.